All right. First things first. Thank you again to Kyle over at the uh, or Ron Ron Weasley. You'll see me. You'll, you'll hear me refer to him as both names. Uh, the very family brewing channel because this thing is working beautifully. I mean, just gorgeous. Let's take a look at the stove. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to mess up that video again. This is going to be part three because I managed to take the mistake the other two and combine the videos. So, yay! First time it's ever. So, it's ten minutes now. Let me turn this thing off. Pull that thing back down. Look at that. It slides right off the dough hook beautifully. Pop that dough hook off. Have a very beautiful elastic key, not really sticky, I mean a little bit, but that's to be expected. Dough ball. Yeah! Alright. Take a ball. Bowl. Jesus, every goddamn time. Lightly oil it, a little olive oil. Pop that in. Give it a once over. Nice little coating. And then we are going to cover this up and we're going to leave this out again to ferment uh, for another, well, probably looking about by the time I want to make this pizza four or five hours. So that'll be hopefully enough time for the sourdough to really kind of do its work, the, the sourdough starter. All right. Uh, we'll be back in the next part uh, about forming the pizza and then, you know, God, Godspeed from there, right? Take care. Like and subscribe. Go. It's been about five and a half, six hours of the pizza dough rising and the sourdough fermenting. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Do a little finger test, see how it doesn't bounce back. We are good to go on that end. First things first, I've already pre, uh, pre did this. You're going to want to, well, just to I guess, go back one step. We're going to be trying to do a little bit of the Nick Nail method here. Uh, not the full Nick Nail method, but uh, at least part of it. So um, you're going to want to put one rack on the very bottom, one rack close to the top. Uh, for the broiling process, you know, want to put your pizza stone on the bottom rack, preheat your oven, oh, there it goes, 500 degrees, and then leave the stone in there and then for another 30 minutes to heat up, which is what it's been doing. That's the timer, so you're good to go. I have my greens prepped. As I mentioned, we're going to be doing a split pizza, half uh, pepperoni uh, and cheese and half um, buffalo and cheese. So I've got my buffalo sauce and my pizza sauce. Uh, when I do the proper video based on Nick Nell's technique, I uh, will make our own pizza sauce from scratch. Got some pepperoni, some mozzarella. I got some leftover buffalo chicken tenders. Uh, basically, it's just tenders that I uh, broiled with the buffalo sauce on top, flipped more buffalo sauce uh, when I made my last pizza, which turned out delicious. And you're gonna want some extra flour. Um, because I don't have the full proper tools, we are going to use some parchment paper to transfer our um, pizza over to the stone when the time comes. And as always, don't forget to enjoy the good stuff and stay loose a little, a little peach tea or rum. Mm. Thank you, Barely. Channel? Mm. All right. I will eventually transfer the camera over a bit so you can see what I'm doing, but for now, we do want to flour up lightly the surface. And we're going to also flour up the dough a bit. And then take a little extra here to flour up my hands. Pop that pizza dough out. want to take it, it's nice and round and ready, and give it a little pat down, spread it out a bit, keeping that round shape, and then you want to grab it by the edges and start giving it a little pull while you're circling, that way you're keeping the shape nice and gently. This thing is pulling out nicely so far, look at this, look at that. This is working out beautifully so far. Don't want to go too thin with it. So we're going to stop there. And we're going to want to start 
fingery in the bottom, diggity. Pinching the edges, or the, uh, yeah, the edges to make where the crust is gonna be. And I'm going to kind of move it over just a bit for right now. I'm gonna lose some of that shape. Transfer over the parchment paper. Sprinkle a little flour in that. Transfer our crust onto the parchment paper. If you need to fold the edges a bit, that's perfectly fine. I haven't been making pizza too long compared to Nick, so this is not going to be nearly as good as his, but we learn as we go, and as I mentioned, since this is a first attempt at the sourdough crust, no guarantees regardless, it did smell very sourdough-y, so I'm thinking the fermentation worked. A little thin in some spots, but nothing I'm going to do about that right now. little coating to the crust edges here. And I'll do all kinds of nice things with the crust edges. Personally, I like to crack a little black pepper on it. Some people recommend, even with the pizza sauce, doing a little bit on the actual inside. I have no preference on that. Don't really do it, but if you'd like to, go ahead. Get our crack, freshly cracked pepper going on. And then it's time to add the sauce. Pizza. Spread it out, spread the love. And then the buffalo on the other half. like. Alright, now you might be thinking cheese is next, but that is not next. What we're going to do, we are going to pull out the pizza stone and quickly hold it taut, transfer the parchment over to the stone, and then we're going to bake that, just the sauce and the crust kind of all uh, oiled up for about um, five, four to five minutes until it starts to rise, the crust starts to get a little uh, crusty. But I just forgot one thing, I do like to sprinkle on my pizza sauce, just a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of oregano. It's usually my go-to. Let me out of oregano, we are out of oregano people. All right, let's pull this bad boy out really quick. Burns the eyes. Oh god. Woo. 
close that up so we don't lose our heat. Stretch it out a bit so it's nice and flat. I'm gonna pull that, put that bad boy right back in the oven here. Bottom rack. Set your timer for about five minutes. And we will be back in five minutes. Since I can now kind of edit videos, I'm just gonna stop this video and then merge the next one. That way it's not a whole other part to it. Uh, this will remain part three. I will see you in about five minutes.